Live from Washington, D.C. in the United States of America, this is Celebrating Our Cooperative Heritage, an International Credit Union Day webcast. I'm Walt Laskos, a credit union development educator and a producer for today's Web TV program presented by U.S. credit union development educators in partnership with the World Council of Credit Unions. Today's program is sponsored by the CUNA Mutual Group. I personally wish to thank Jeff Post and his entire team at CUNA Mutual for their generous support of today's educational initiative. And the next 60 minutes promises to be just that. But before we go to our discussion, here's the CEO of the National Credit Union Foundation, Bucky Sebastian, to deliver greetings on behalf of all credit union development educators. Today is a day to celebrate the richness of our credit union heritage. From humble beginnings under the guiding hands of such luminaries as Alphonse Desjardins, Edward Feline, and Roy Bergengren, credit unions pursued a mission of providing people with a way to access credit, which for many of them was either denied by the banks or available only through loan sharks with their exorbitant fees. But credit unions delivered more than just access to credit. Driven by a set of cooperative principles and values, their aim was about improving the economic and social well-being of all members, not for profit, not for charity, but for service. Today, the same passion that inspired our founders continues to manifest itself each and every day through countless men and women serving their members in credit unions throughout the world. But nowhere does that passion appear more alive than among the men and women who bear the title Credit Union Development Educator. These men and women, affectionately known as DEs, are dedicated to seeing that the mission set forth by our founders flourish. Although DE programs only currently exist in the UK, Canada, Asia, the Philippines, the Caribbean, and the United States, the influence and the cooperative spirit of the DEs themselves is all impressive and pervasive. Today's International Credit Union Day webcast of celebrating our cooperative heritage is presented to you by U.S. Credit Union Development Educators in partnership with the World Council of Credit Unions. Please be sure to join with me in thanking our kind sponsor, the CUNA Mutual Group, for their generosity in helping to make today's program possible. And now I invite you to learn from the discussion you're about to hear, ask questions, share your comments, and most importantly, become even more inspired to do the great work you do for your members each and every day. From everyone at the National Credit Union Foundation, Happy International Credit Union Day. Celebrating our cooperative heritage is intended to be an interactive program. We invite your comments and questions. To interact with us, simply click the link, ask a question under the video screen. Type in your question or comment and hit submit. We'll then see it here in Washington and we'll share it with our panelists and with the audience. This year our program comes to you from Credit Union House in Washington, D.C., where we are hosted by the Maryland and D.C. Credit Union Association. Here now is its chairman, Miguel Boluda. Before we sign off today, allow me to acknowledge those who made today's program possible. The CUNA Mutual Group, their generous financial support made this show possible. Coordinating details for us at Credit Union House was Sue McHugh. Ricardo Pinares at Credit Union House provided technical assistance. My liaison at the Maryland DC Credit Union Association was Sarah Turner. Communications and publicity was handled by Mike Muckian at the World Council. Video production and webcasting services were managed by Joe Keller and Kevin Mann. My associate producer was Tom Decker. And I'm Walt Laskos wishing all of you a very happy International Credit Union Day. Thanks for joining us.